this is my Apple Vision Pro headset, and today we're going to be taking a look at some of the best 3 printable accessories for it, as well as some things that I've 3D modeled myself and will be sharing with you, linked below. But to start things off, let's talk about this single knit band that supports the Apple Vision Pro headset. The problem with this, it's such a nice designed comfortable strap however it does not provide any upper support here for the headset and it is a very front heavy headset where if you're wearing this for more than 15 minutes or so you're definitely going to start feeling it on the front of your face so let's fix this with some 3d printing now there are a few different styles of clips that have already been designed and shared online so i took some inspiration from some of those and designed my own in shaper 3d which is a cad based 3d modeling application that i can use directly on my iPad. And one of the best parts about this whole thing is that it takes like, I don't know, less than 30 minutes to print off a set of these. And after printing these, I tested it with the existing medium sized band that I had on hand and it was much too big. So I ordered a small knit band for this. So I have the medium going around the back and I'm gonna have the small going along the top. And the installation process is pretty straightforward and simple. You're gonna unclasp the existing band that you have already attached to it. And what's really cool is these just slide directly onto the headset. I have the connection points slightly angled backwards. So it's a sort of back top support option here for my headset. And then these just snap into place just like you would with the other headsets. And then I can put my existing band that I had from previous and put that on here. So now I have a upper and back portion of bands to support my head. And then now I have the ability on the right hand side to adjust the tightness for the back band as well as the top band here to provide support along the top. And if I want to, I can adjust this and reset it so that it's a little bit lower in the back of my head here for the back band providing that top band with a little bit more of a snug fit. And it's a much more comfortable experience, especially if I'm gonna be planning on wearing this for a long period of time, maybe working on a movie or watching a movie or working on projects here with the Vision Pro headset. I also love how this orange Elegoo PLA nicely matches up with the orange used in the knit band. Now, one thing that I've gotten fairly used to is carrying around this battery pack in my pocket. However, not everyone has pockets that they can fit the battery pack into. And one thing that I'm seeing a plethora of are people producing designs to support the battery that you can then loop onto your pants or onto a belt. And this is just one example of that where it just fits nicely into this little case here that you can easily clip on the side of your pants or directly on a belt. Now, even if you don't own one of these headsets or even considering picking up one right now, I would still recommend heading over to an Apple store and trying out the demo of the unit. And one thing that I saw while doing my demo were these amazing looking clean trays that they had the Vision Pro resting on. And I immediately got home from my demo and started modeling this up in Shaper 3D. And the best part is it prints in two separate parts so you don't need a multicolor printer. I'm using the Elegoo Neptune 4 Plus and the Neptune 4 Max for all the prints in today's video. And this fits in so nicely within each other. And this is the smaller version of this that I've designed. And I also printed one that has a slightly larger build area. So if you wanted a larger maximized area for the Vision Pro to rest on, you have that. And I also designed a different insert option here so that while you're maybe charging up your headset and letting it sit on here, there's a place for the battery to rest inside of a little dock for this while it's sitting here on the little stand that I've designed. And one of the first things that I noticed while unboxing this headset is that it came resting on this really cool looking cardboard. It's like a really heavy duty industrial piece of cardboard here. I don't know what this is, some kind of cardboard material, but it has a notched in groove for the headset. And I thought, man, this is a really cool board as it is. I'm wondering, instead of these little, little island trays here, what if I just printed a case for this whole piece. And that's exactly what I did with the Elegoo Neptune 4 Max. Now this is a much larger build volume 3D printer. And I think this was only a two hour print with this. And look at this, it fits 
perfectly in there and help cut down on the print time as well as save a bunch of filament. I didn't use any top or bottom layers for this mid section here. And you see this really cool infill pattern from the 3D print. If you have a big printer like the Elegoo Neptune 4 Max, this is a great print option for you. And speaking of, I want to say a big thank you to Elegoo for sponsoring today's video. They are the makers of the Elegoo Neptune 4 Plus and the Neptune 4 Max that are budget friendly and fast 3D printers. They also have the Elgu Neptune 4, which is a smaller 3D printer if you're even on a smaller budget, but it's still going to provide you with great print results. Elgu is also expanding into a vast array of different filament choice options for you to print with. If you're interested in more information about any of Elgu's printers or their filament, you can find links to those down below. Now, one thing that I was really interested in was the packaging material that this is now sitting in here in this larger tray. Again, this just came with the box that the Vision Pro came with. And I was interested in recreating something like this shape that the headset could cradle in. So if I want to just have a very small stand for this that it could nest inside of. So this is where I took the Vision Pro and I hung it up and used an app on my phone called Polycam that allows me to take a series of a whole bunch of different pictures at different angles of the headset to create a 3D scan of the headset that I can then use to 3D model out my own variation of this. Not to mention, I can also take all of the designs that I've created and bring those directly into the Polycam app on the Vision Pro headset and view them in a virtual augmented reality space. And I ended up taking two different approaches and creating two different variations of this stand. One, by taking that 3D scan and bringing it into Nomad Sculpt, cleaning it up, and then using that to create this sort of organic shape stand here that the headset can rest on. And then with some of the measurements, I was able to go back into Shaper 3D and model out my own instance of this that somewhat resembles what came with the headset. And this is the MetaQuest 3 headset, and I have on this headset the Bobo VR. It's like a halo head strap style of headset where you can take this little front plate cover off, and then I can wear this and have it be sort of free floating on my head, but still be really comfortable. And it's gonna have the screen really close and snug to my face. Now, what's cool about this is someone's already made an adapter for this exact headset for the Vision Pro. And now I have to take all the stuff that I just put on there, take it all, take it all off. And here's a 3D printed mod that was created and shared over on Printables that is gonna allow you to reuse this same head strap directly on your Vision Pro. I should be able to slide these, yep, into place here. And then I believe this clips into place on the headset here. All right, I've been trying to get this file to work and I'll be honest, I didn't try this before recording the video. It fits perfectly into the Bobo VR headset, but I cannot for the life of me get this to attach to the Apple Vision Pro headset. It slides on to one of the sides here that doesn't have the charge port, but I can't get it to slide on the other. The original poster looked like they had it uh, clipped on at the very top, but maybe I need to print this in TPU or some other softer material that will fold and bend. This is just a hard PLA plastic and it's gonna snap or I might break my uh, Vision Pro headset and I definitely don't wanna do that. But what's cool is that concept is still there and it's just a, a design iteration could be made to make this better fit on the headset here. And the last one I'm really excited about because one, it's a stupidly fast and easy to print file, but also it's gonna help increase the field of view of the Vision Pro. Okay, this, this might look really goofy, but it easily is probably the best of the file prints that I have here. This just gives me so much more visual room here while looking through the Vision Pro headset. This is kind of amazing. Now, if you're interested in printing any of these for yourself, I'll have links to these files down below. I wanted to say a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters for your continued support. Me making videos here on the interwebs. If you're interested in the settings that I used for these 3D prints, you'll find those over in my Patreon.
Patreon. Now, one thing I wanna leave you with is just the overall fun that I've had this past week working on a bunch of different designs and iterations and just prototyping and revising over and over again until I've gotten the files that I've created in a place that I'm happy with sharing for all of you out there. If you haven't already, consider trying to make something in 3D and getting it 3D printed. There's no better experience out there. It's such a wild process. And if you end up printing any of these, please make sure to tag me online. And let me know down below what kind of accessories that you'd be excited to see make its way to the Vision Pro or maybe the MetaQuest headsets. Hey, thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. This fits so much better with the dual loop bands. The only problem is, is you have to buy another knit band there for this to work properly. I'm really hoping that Bobo VR comes out with their own headset option that's gonna make this a little bit more comfortable to wear. I'm honestly a little surprised Apple released this as is. It's just very, very front heavy.